We're going to talk a little bit about remote application as it relates to battery hydraulic tools. And two of our newest additions to our remote uh, tool family um, are our new EK425 remote and our ES20 uh, inline remote. And you'll notice that these tools look a little bit different than our uh, typical uh, 425 and 20. Um, they have this yellow marking that's on them. It's uh, kind of a, a denotes that these are remote application tools. Uh, you also see this trigger jacket that's on there. And this is the way uh, that we actually use these tools uh, to lock out the trigger to enable the remote capacity of these tools to actually function. Um, and it also doubles as a connection point uh, for when you're going to be putting together a uh, hot stick assembly and using these with a, an extendable stick or a switch stick like the one I have in front of me here. But overall, uh, same capacities as our regular tools, our regular ES20 and our regular EK425. Uh, the 425 is uh, very, very versatile tool. Um, as you know, the 425 also uh, facilitates cutting uh, of soft metals, copper and aluminum, up to 600 MCM. Um, and it also facilitates uh, cutting hard metals, uh, like you see here with our ACSR uh, cutting jaw. So this one does double duty. So it's also, it's a crimping application and it's also a cutting application. So what's kind of unique about these tools is that um, they also pull another double duty is that they can be used in a handheld versus uh, a remote application. So you may say that, you know, I don't, I don't want to buy a tool just for a remote application. You can ultimately take this tool and turn it back into a handheld configuration. So what I'm going to do right here is basically just put a different into a different profile by updating uh, the profile on the back of the screen here. And that puts it into regular handheld mode. So uh, the tool can be used in both configurations. Uh, like I said, we're going to put it back into um, its remote mode for a demo that we're going to do. Um, but ultimately, a lot of versatility and ultimately it gives you application that uh, the utility industry has never had before. Um, specifically about uh, being able to cut a jumper out uh, or to be able to work over the threshold of uh, what a, you know, bare hand application would be or what over the threshold of a voltage uh, from what your, your gloves are rated to. And there's some scenarios that are like that. It's, it's a little bit more rare on the crimping side of the application, but it's very, it's very common uh, from a cutting application where you're trying to isolate voltage from one side of a pole uh, from getting to another, especially after uh, a storm or something like that where you'd have a troubleman going out and assessing damage where they need to cut power. So this can be used in an application, like I said, with a switch stick, or it can be used from the ground uh, with an extendable stick. So that makes it very handy, uh, and it makes it very uh, appropriate for a single person to carry out that job. Uh, but next thing we want to do is we want to go through a little bit of a demo on how these tools are activated and ultimately how they're going to be put onto a hot stick or a switch stick. Okay, so as we're putting this tool together and we've got it assembled right now, the tool is actually looking for something to pair to. It's still blinking, the blue light that's on here, that means it's looking for a tool. The tool recognizes the remote control and it asks me if I want to pair to this serial number that's on the remote control. So that tells me that there's a one-on-one -on -one relationship with what I have going here. Um, and ultimately, it shows me that I have a solid blue light, which means our Bluetooth connection is really, really good. Okay, so what we've got from there is we're ready to go. Um, it's a double tap configuration for all of the remote uh, applications that we have. So very intentional uh, as you're carrying, carrying out this activity. So we'll put this on the hot stick and this would be very similar to a scenario where you would be working from a bucket with a minimum approach distance that you need to stand back. So I'm just going to apply it here to the switch with the spline. We'll position the tool and we'll take a step back here and rest the tool on there. So here we go. And there we go. The EK425 LXR remote overhead cutting and crimping tool from Greenlee.